Good morning. This is my impromptu speech. I'm going to talk about how the rich control us. When I was a kid, they controlled us through education. They controlled the content that was in all the books and the manuals and anything the teacher said. So we only got their point of view. In 69, when the internet was invented, the rich people immediately saw that they could lose control of what we learned. So they started writing programs and by 95 when the internet really took off because of Windows 7 they had everything in place. Pearson Corporation and other ones, McGraw-Hill which now Pearson owns. They made all, they, they started printing all the textbooks. They had all this, the educational programs. They have all the software, all the testing everything. They started the for-profit prisons so that they could get money out of the people that dropped out of school. Now they're all supporting the charter schools and private schools. Just money, money, money. That's, they have no other goal in life except to make more money. So now, with the internet, they are telling you that you don't need anything to go from pre-K through a doctorate degree today except a touchscreen tablet and the internet. And most of it you can get right off of YouTube. I've just finished 66 credits at Chaminade University in Honolulu and I've never bought a book and I've never read a book. And if I can't find what I need on YouTube, I Google it. So this is the way they're controlling us now. We've got to wake up. You don't need Pearson Corporation. You don't need buildings. There's better ways. There's thousands of examples of what teachers are doing around the world that they're doing better than we are here in the United States. Check it out, students. It's a better way. It's cheaper. And you learn a lot more from your peers than you do from people that are controlled by big business. Thank you.